The Sunshine Coast sits on the southeast Queensland coastline and is made up of several beachside towns. It's located about an hour north of Brisbane. It's known as a tourist hotspot with pristine beaches and a relaxed holiday lifestyle. We meet John, the owner and the builder of this luxury design. G'day mate, how you going? Yeah, good thanks Gary, yourself? Pretty really well, I'm looking forward to seeing this house. I mean, I've heard it's an absolute pearl. We love this house, it is fairly unique, it's different. Why don't you come in and have a look? Let's do it. Thank you so much for letting me come into your house. Just from the outset, I think this might be my favourite house of all time. Oh, <laughs> oh, really? That's great. You, you guys moved over from WA, didn't you? Yeah, three years ago we moved over from WA uh, to build our dream home, lifestyle change. Yeah. We bought this block th four years ago, yeah. fell in love with yep. it. Has it every room got a view? Is yes. that what's going on here? Well, that's yeah. the idea, yeah. We've yep. got you know, so much water frontage and yep. park and man-made beach over the road. It's, we, we just, yeah, once we found this block, it was that, that's it. We've arrived by boat today, but I'm sure there's actually another entrance to the house somewhere. Why don't we go and have a look around? What do you reckon? Yeah, come through. We'll Absolutely. show you through. Let's do it. Now, here's a floor plan like no other. The curves and shapes are in keeping with the nautical theme of the house. The kitchen and the living spaces spill out to the outdoor entertaining and pool zone, while upstairs are the children's bedrooms and the luxury main bedroom suite. I wanted to create a real intimate resort style home that uh, would fit into the coastal lifestyle that we have here on the Sunshine Coast. I actually used the design of a boat in five places and this actually created interest uh, but also captured a lot of views to the canal. You notice when you come through the entry that it's also in a boat shape, but it's actually a pavilion by itself. It has a huge glass and timber door, and, and this uh, creates a sense of arrival when you first come. And from there, you, you first look into this beach area, and that's sort of all you notice. And then after, as you, you go around through the home, then more aspects of the home open up, like the pool area and, and through to the rear canal. So you guys obviously love a bit of entertaining by the looks of this. Oh, we do. Like, this is um, how the house was designed, you know. We do entertain a lot and, yeah, we've always got friends over and this, yeah. is, this is basically where it all happens, you know. So if somebody likes their beer around here, you've got your own resources there. Well, this is the best part of the house, Gary. You've got beer on tap, you don't have to go anywhere. Well, some of the elements I really love about the house is the lighting features, such as the, mm. the circles in the roof, mm. but also the, the use of timber everywhere, which makes the house much more warmer. And also the curves. I mean, my goodness, you don't know what's around the next corner. Yeah. Well, no corner, next it's curve. It's a surprise. <laughs> it is. It's a surprise. It Every is, corner yeah. you go around is a surprise in this house. It's, it's great. And it was a challenge to build, you know, being the, obviously the builder as well. So you built the house? Yeah, yeah. Okay. My building company built the house, and um, obviously being the owner, it was our dream home and a great challenge. It was, yeah, yeah it was a labour of love. Yeah, sometimes people get the volume of these type of homes wrong, but really wanted to create intimate spaces so it can open right up here especially in summer to to enjoy that the breezes but in winter or to for a small family when you're not entertaining you can actually close and have these warmer intimate spaces upstairs the owners are able to escape to the seclusion of the main bedroom and take in the 260 degree views or if they choose to, they can settle downstairs where they have all the mod cons you would expect from a home like this. All right, so now for the most important part, how much was the build? Well, Gary, it was, uh, it's almost uh, too scary to add it up, but um, <laughs> mate, I think we're looking around about three and a half mil all up. Okay, wow, well, $3.5 million. For that sort of price, you've got an amazing house here. I mean, it's like a resort. I mean, for you to go to a resort would be a letdown. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is. We almost created the problem because uh, we used to go away on a lot of holidays, and now we, we're feeling that we, uh, we don't need to go away, so uh, yeah. we're, we're happy to stay here and enjoy. Well, it's probably one of my favourite houses. I would love to come back one day and, well, and see it again. You're always oh, welcome. Thank you.